channel shaggers my name is Nomi Bomoshangase and this is my YouTube channel where I speak about all things books DIY and lifestyle if that is your kind of jam please do hit that subscribe button hit that little bell to get notified every single time your homegirl me post a video as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be talking about the brown sisters series yes I'm gonna be talking about Chloe I'm gonna talk about Danica and I'm gonna be talking about Eve you can tell by my outfits that I tried to be more like Chloe Brown. I think this is how she would look because she is a homebody. This is just my idea of what Chloe would look like. What you think? Comment down below. <laughs> Get Alive Chloe Brown is about Chloe Brown who is the eldest sister. She is this computer geek, like always at home, homebody, kind of like me. It doesn't do like a lot of things. She doesn't really go out she doesn't she's not adventurous and that is because she um, has a chronic illness that whenever she puts like too much pressure on her body like it becomes like physical uh, physically like painful for her to even like do anything so that illness kind of like you know confides her and she's always at home she never does anything until this one day she like nearly dies and after that experience she kind of just like if I did die, my eulogy would have been boring and that I thought that was kind of like funny because you know I don't think anyone kind of looks at their lives and be like you know when I die I want to have like this great eulogy. After that experience she then um, goes on to write this list so it's all of the things that it's basically like seven things yeah I think it's seven things that she wants to do. Number one on the list is moving out of her um, family home and she does that and when she does move out <laughs> she meets red ford um, morgan who is a handyman caretaker of the building by day but a painter by night he is an artist and when they do meet when they meet they kind of like don't like each other in a way because red ford thinks she's kind of like snobby and she's all that and you know they just ugh. Because Chloe has this list and she doesn't have anyone else so she asks Red Ford um, to help her with the list so as Red is like helping Chloe with this list and um, Chloe actually building a website for him they get to see like a different side of each other and they get to spend more time with each other and obviously the romance like grows and it's such a beautiful I really the one thing that I loved about this book was the build-up of everything like it's not as hot and steamy as the other books but it's just definitely like really cute and i think it was a great introduction to the series I just loved their like their interaction with each other and i think it was literally the most adorable thing ever and i would like a red ford in my life one day i don't know god father can you hear me let's get into the second book Hi, Zeb. I'm Danica. So, Take a Hint, Danny Brown is the second book of the Brown Sister series, and basically, it's about Danica Brown. She is a career driven, um, she's currently doing her doctorate. She's writing, she's currently writing her thesis at this university. Zafia, who's this ex rugby player who's just like tall, dark hair, muscles, like. Ugh. Zafia is a daddy. That's the best way I can describe him. He's a daddy. I said it. So after they become like viral on the socials, um, they decide to fake date. So they decide to be in a fake relationship. Only for the sole purpose of that the video of them going viral kind um kind of helped zef in a way because you know all these business people are reaching up to him he has a non-profit organization where he teaches men like young men how to use sports express their feelings or you know whether they be angry or happy or whatever they're feeling these people start reaching out to him after the video goes viral and he uses this opportunity to be like hey yo danny um let's fake being in a relationship you know because clearly people like to see us and danny being in no goal to be in a relationship like that's not her sole purpose girl just looking for friends with benefits so she kind of takes it as a sign would say oh okay since zap is kind of like looking for 
you know, like a fake um, relationship, maybe I can also, you know, be like, hey, yo, can you be my friends with benefits? Um, they start sp spending like a whole lot of time together and this, you know, they start basically like liking each other and Danny is kind of just like trying to brush all these feelings away and Zaf is kind of just like, I don't know why I'm feeling like this because Danica is not a relationship person. You know, during this time, Zev's issues also about like having anxiety and also being depressed um, after like something ha like very, very traumatic happened to his family. He like these issues start to rise up, you know, as he starts, you know, feeling romantic feelings towards a Danny. And also Danny is just like finding it hard to focus on her thesis because all she thinks about is is a half and you know what i do not blame her because i probably <laughs> i probably would have done the same thing girl <laughs> danica is my favorite sister out of all the sisters i really did enjoy this uh book i really did enjoy the conversation of you know like a man having anxiety when you know he starts developing certain kind of feelings or whenever he feels um like close to somebody he's very very in tune with his feelings that's one thing i really did um love about um Zafia. i think that's why i'm like so so attracted to him is because he's very in tune with his feelings and he's very very mature about them like he he knows what he wants and he's not willing to settle like he doesn't care who you are if you're not gonna give him what he wants or what he needs he's thank you next and that oh danica guys when i grow up i really want to be like danica brown like she is this goal driven career driven feminist woman can do it all like she's amazing i also liked the topic of her being bisexual like i i really really loved that kind of like it was there like it was just like <laughs> um i just really loved that how open she was and how open she is with um, her sexuality which was like my favorite favorite thing about her the build-up of the banging is just it bangs the writing is so amazing the romance just everything was so perfect for me like I really really did enjoy this book oh to choose between take a hint Danny Brown or at your age Eve Brown like it's a tight competition y'all like I really don't know which one um, I think what would make me say like um, at your age Eve Brown is like my number one is because of her ending and also you know the breakup part was very very realistic for me I related so much to Eve I guess you know her being a mess like I get it girl I get it but anyways let me not spoil it for you let's go into the next one so the last book of the Brown Sisters series is Actor 8 Eve Brown and I just recently finished this book I think I finished it like two weeks ago it is so good it's amazing like hot and cute read eve brown is like basically like the hot mess of the family she's like literally all over the place she can never keep a job she really doesn't really know what she's passionate about she doesn't know what she likes i feel like she represents a lot of people especially in this generation because i feel like we were given like this huge opportunity opportunities and we've got all these kind of privilege to go to school but you know some people never really like grasped or know what they really really like passionate about and what they really want to do so her parents after like a disaster of another job her parents kind of like tell her they're like girl listen okay we're gonna make a deal with you if you keep a job for a year uh we might just consider giving you your transfer back and in the midst of that eve is just like really upset and she storms out of the house and she drives and she drives she drives into this airbnb which is owned by jacob wayne who is the most in control control freak no nonsense like very strict person into this um airbnb she sees that there is a post uh for a chef like they need of help and you know she goes in there she's just like ayo i'm gonna offer my services and then obviously jacob is like do you have a cv like what do you have and she's just like i thought i was gonna wing it and jacob is kind of like not impressed at all she accidentally hits him with her car accidentally and uh, she's like feeling bad because he's got his wrist broken so she's just like because i'm feeling bad i am going to help until you find someone like permanently like the more time they spend together like the more the animosity kind of like you know like 
kind of like disappears and you know like the heat between them kind of like grows and you know the romance also they try to establish some sort of friendship you know to kind of like get each other in that sense like it doesn't really just goes straight into like liking each other it just starts off as friends and obviously in that midst of the conversations of them being friends like tension kind of builds they kind of trying to navigate um like how to go about it i guess and yeah in that in that um we get to see that actually jacob is this sweetheart like he is just like a softy on the inside he's not like this really eyes i'm very strong like in control type of person um in this book like child abandonment is talked about autism is mentioned like, what i like about talia is that she speaks about things that um a lot of people are aware of but they do not know a whole lot much about it or some people they know about it but they're not aware that they are also going through that actually the series is something that i'm going to read time and time again like i feel like it's going to be one of those series that i read once in a while because they just make you feel good they make you feel warm and you just i want that for myself that is all for this um brown sister series chat i really do hope that you did enjoy this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you have read the series or if this chat really made you be like you know what i'm just gonna jump i'm just gonna get on and hop on. thank you so so much for watching i really hope that you do come again until next time sugars bye